For a while, I've been wanting to know how you can make aliases for the command line, that is, the terminal application, and I've been too lazy to look it up. Well, MacTips.org had a tip about it recently, and I'm going to relay that to you, because I think it's good information. First of all, you'll need Open Terminal, and Terminal is in Applications, Utilities, Terminal.app, or you can do a spotlight search for Terminal and click on the application. And once it's opened, I'm in a guest account right now. And what we're going to do is we are going to edit a file so that way we can have an alias for kill all, which is you'd like kill all doc to restart the doc. And we're going to shorten it down to just typing ka. So what we'll do is we need to edit a file inside our home directory and it's dot bashrc so you won't see it inside your home folder. And so to do this we'll use pico. Pico is a text editor. Pico is a text editor on the command line. And we will do squiggly line forward slash dot b a s h r c. We'll hit return, and this opens up the Pico editor. Now this is all textual; you do not use your mouse at all. And what we want to do is we want to type in alias a l i a s, and then we'll type in what we want the alias to be. So we'll do k a, and then we'll do an equal sign, then a quote sign, and then we'll type in kill all no in quotes now we want to hit control x you'll notice in the lower left hand corner right here it's it has a carrot and then x and that means control x and that will exit it'll say do you want to save we'll say yes and say file name to write to and that's what we want so we'll hit return and now we will say source dot uh, Squiggly line slash dot b a s h r c bash r c hit return and then I'll type k a doc and it works. So that's how you can easily create a shortcut for the command line. And since I'm using guest account when I log out, it'll automatically delete this. But in the future, I would be able to write k a doc or k a find or whatever to force quit any application from the command line. Now, I realize that this is a simple application because, I mean, you could just fight kill all. I mean, it's really short. But you could use it to hook up to a SSH tunnel or something else. And I suggest that if you use the command line a lot, that you know how to do this. So that way you can do it easily and quickly. Or if you want your parents, for example, to be able to use easy things in the command line, such as restarting the dock then you might want to do something like KAD and that would be kill all doc and then instead of doing kill all you would just do kill all doc so you can just type in KAD return so that's all for now I hope that this is a good useful tip for you and thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I'm sorry for not having any tips recently it's been kinda of hectic these movies take a little while to make but if you do not read the blog it's just that you do because I had a terminal tip yesterday a basic commit line terminal things so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing